Hi, Chenabs. So welcome back again to all of you in the end of the Sunday live session. And today, in this crash series, we are going to make an animation for performing some magic action. And the title of the today's activity on the project is Broadcasting Spell. And as you know, it's going to be clear from today's activity title that we are going to use the broadcast blocks inside the scratch editor. And while the spells stand for, for performing some magic action. So in today's activity, we are going to use the broadcast block for performing some magic action. So let's start the today's activity. So here is a clip of today's activity, which we are going to make today. So when you click on the flag icon, you can click on the shrink, then the sprite will be shrink as you are able to see on the screen. If you click on the grow, then the sprite will grow and like so on. If you click on the Todd, then it will convert it into the Todd. And if you will click on the untold button, then the it will come again into their original form. So like the earlier, we have to divide this project into the two parts. The first one will be the state decoration. And the last one will be the coding where we will write the code inside the script area for performing some action for the sprites. So first of all, come on the state decoration. So first, we need to add the background. So go to the scratch editor and you can click on the below link for coming on the scratch editor. So if you are logged in, then you can rename your project like that today's activity is broadcasting spell. So first of all, we need to add a background and remove this cat sprite because we are not going to use this in today's activity. So for adding the background, just take your cursor on this option, click on the search bar and choose any one of them. And here I'm choosing the castle three. You can choose any other. And now come again on the slides and see the next step. So now we need to add the four buttons. One for shrink, second one for go, third one for the toad, and the last one for the end toad. So now come again on the scratch editor, add the four buttons with the following name. Shrink, grow, toad, and boom. So come again on the scratch editor. And for adding the buttons, now come on the sprite section. So now take your cursor on this option, choose a sprite. Click on the search bar. Now on the search bar, just write the button. And there are different buttons are there, like button one, button two, and button three. And here I'm choosing the button three. Now resize it from 100 to 70 or 80. And copy the same sprite three times. Yeah. Now just write the name on all the sprite. Like for the first one, string, second one, grow, third one, toad, and the last one is untold. So click on the first sprite which you want to edit. Click on the costume. Now for writing it, click on the text option. Click on the area of the button. And just write your text. If you want to change the position, then just drag it. If you want to change the color, then click on the fill option. Click on the drop down arrow and you can change the color. Copy this and paste in the second button also. Yeah. Now do the same for the rest of the three buttons also. 
So just copy it from on the second button, paste the same, just change the name from shrimp to crow. Paste the same here. Come on the next button, which is toad. Paste the same in the second button. And do the same for the last button. First copy and for copying any object first of all click on the select arrow select the things which you want to copy and use the control plus c option for copy now paste the same on the second sprite second costume of the same sprite now we position all these buttons on the stage in the same form as we are able to see on this slide, push sing, then go and go and then undo. Yeah. So now come again on this slide and see the next step. So now we need to add the magic event for performing the magic action with the help of the event. So come again on the scratch editor. Add a sprite by clicking on this option and just search the magic. Just search the event and you can choose this one and also this one. So here I'm choosing the second one. So we are done with this step also by adding the magic event. Now come again on this side. So after adding the magic event, now add the fairy which is a sprite and after this we need to add a gem so now add both of these sprite on the stage for adding the sprite just go this option if you want to search you can search click on it for adding on the stage and do the same for adding the gem just search the jam. Yeah. So now we are done by decorating the stage. And now we will write the code for performing the magic action on the stage. So in the coding part, first of all, we will write the code for the buttons. So whenever we will click the buttons, it will broadcast some message. Like the shrink button will broadcast shrink message, grow button, grow, and so on. And whenever you will click on the button, it will change the costume from first to another for a second. To reflect that you clicked on the button or not. So now, first of all, we will write the code for broadcasting the different message based on the button. And also, when you click on the button, it will change their costume for a second. So come on the scratch editor. First, click on the shrink button and write the code for broadcasting the message when you click on this sprite. 
go to the event section drag the when this is sprite clip we need to broadcast a message so broadcast string will broadcast the string message write the message in the box not only this whenever we click on the button we need to change their costume so go to the costume section and there are two costumes are there button 3a and button 3b so we need to change the costume from the button 3a to 3b and then again change it to 3a so when there is right click change the costume to button 3b so go to the look section drag the button or block with the name of <laughs> switch costume so first switch the costume to 3b broadcast the message add a little bit of delay like one second and then again change it to button 3a so go to the look section switch costume to button 3a and now check this by click on the first button okay <laughs> so just replace this block up to the broadcast and check again let's decrease the weight from 1 to 0.5 check again yeah now it's okay and now we will write the same code for the rest of the button and for copying the code from one sprite to another sprite just drag the code and drop wherever you want to paste it like i want to paste in the button 2 then just drop here and do the same for the rest two button also button 4 and button 5 yeah so the blocks are copied from the last sprite to button 2, 3, 2, 4 and 5. And now just change the message. So the grow will broadcast the grow. The toad will broadcast the toad message. And the untold will broadcast the untold. Now check all of these buttons by clicking on them. Yeah, so everything is working fine. Now come on the slides and see the next step. So now in the next step, we need to write the code for the magic wand. So we need to perform some magic action. We need to click on the button with the help of the magic wand. So first of all, we will write the code for the magic wand. So it will work as a mouse cursor. And we will be able to click on the button with the help of the magic band. So now click on the magic band sprite. And now we will write the code for the magic band. So when we click on this sprite, sorry, when we click on the flag icon, so go to the event section. When flag clicked, 
then it will perform as a mouse. We go to the motion section and we need to point it towards the mouse pointer. Okay. And we need to perform this action again and again without any limitation. So we just go to the control section, drag the forever block and attach the point towards the mouse pointer inside the forever. And attach this block below to the event flag click. Again, click on the flag and see the changes on this page. Okay. So, first stop the group down. Perhaps we need to add some another block. Let's check it again. Yeah. We need to add the go to. So, here we are pointing it towards the mouse pointer. But we need to take it with the mouse pointer. So, just drag this block and attach it inside the forever. Click again on the flag icon. Now you are able to take your van or the chadi with your cursor. And now we need to set it so whenever we click on this sprite, it will perform the magic action on the sprite. But first of all, just set this event. You will just click on the costumes, select all the elements of each van by First click on the select arrow and drag the rectangle around the van and rotate it to the following angle that you are able to see on the screen. and just touch the corner of the magic fan to the center circle point. Now click on the flag again and see the changes. Oh. Yeah. Now we are able to click on the button with the cursor. But it looks like that we are clicking on the button with the help of the magic fan. Now check it by rotating it. Now check it by rotating it into this direction. Yeah. Again, point it the corner of the pen to the center circle. Check again. Yeah, this one is also working fine. So now come on these slides and see the next step. And now we need to write the code for the fairy and then for the gem. So whenever we click on the following buttons like shrink, go, toad and toad, it will change their form based on the message. So whenever the fairy spike will receive the message from the buttons grow then it will change their size with plus 10 so go to the look section drag the block change size by plus 10 and it will change their size and same the opposite for the string so when it receives string it will change their size to the minus 10 Okay, so first write the code for the shrink and grow for the following sprite, fairy and gem. Do the same for the gem. If it receives grow, it will change their size with plus 10. And if it will receive shrink, then it will change their size to minus 10. Now check this by performing the magic action with the help of the magic pen on the stage.
Yeah. So now we are able to sing and grow the spray with the help of the magic band when we are clicking on the button. And now we need to change the form of the spray from their original form to toad. And when we click on the toad, then it will come in their original form. So first click on the fairy, go to the costume section. And there are the multiple costumes are available for the fairy. So first of all, delete all of them, resting first. Click on this option and just search the toad. Choose any one of them. Here I'm choosing first. Select uh, all the elements of the toad and drag it. Okay. First click on the select option. And drag the rectangle around it. And just drag it. And now do the same for the gem. Delete all the sprite, resting first, and add a toad. Click on this option, search the toad. Click on it for adding it on the costume section. Yeah, it's all ready. Now again, drag it. First of all, click on the select button, drag the rectangle around it and just drag it by click on the middle point. Yeah. And now when this receive the message toad and untoad, we need to change their costume. So when the gem will receive toad, it will switch the costume from the gem A to which are toad A. So just switch the costume, go to the look section, switch costume to which are toad A. And do the opposite for the untoad. So when I receive untoad, just switch the costume to the gem A. And do the same for the fairy. When I receive toad, go to the look section, switch costume to the Vijay toad A. And when I receive untoad, then switch the costume to the fairy. Now click on the flag icon on the stage, click on the each button and see the changes on the stage. Now click on the untoad for changing their form. Yeah. And now you can also add some sound. So when you click on the button, it will perform some sound. So you can also do this by adding the sound. Like if you want to add the sound, when you click on the shrink button, come here, go to the sound section and you can Add the sound. Okay. So come on the slides. So now champs, we are done by creating the broadcasting spells activity in today's session. And if you have any question regarding anything, then you can ask your question in the comment section without any hesitation. So we are done by writing the code for the jam also. So thank you so much.
Bye. See you on the next session. See you.